Again, I'm sorry about the quality of this. I hate filming like this, but I already did a video earlier today on booting Debian Live uh, ISO off a flash drive using Grub2. Uh, that was to help guide someone through something, but now I'm doing a video to prove a point. Uh, the person I've been chatting with, basically my point is, if Grub can boot the, uh, the a operating system and you have an ISO of that file system, or of that um, operating system, then you can boot the ISO, and he, he keeps insisting that some distributions of Linux you cannot do that with. So I keep asking him to give me examples. The first one was Linux Live CD, and I got that booted off ISO, and now he's saying that Puppy Linux can't do it. So let me, I put Puppy Linux ISO on this flash drive that I already had installed uh, Grub on. Let me hit F12, okay. Uh, I already put Grub on for Debian, so all I had to do was change the uh, Grub file a little bit. Uh, a few entries in here, let me just hit E to edit. Same thing before, I just changed the name of it in the menu, changed the name of the ISO that it points to, and then the uh, initial RAM disk and kernel for Puppy Linux are in the root directory, unlike Debian, which where they were in a folder called Live. Uh, and the initial RAM disk here, I think on Debian, well, both these, this was uh, the kernel had a one at the end, and this had uh, a one at the end. This is here, it's a initial RAM disk dot Q. Other than that, I left everything else the same. So I'll hit, uh, I think, F10 to boot. And now it's booting from the command list. I've already booted this once, and it was kind of slow to boot. Uh, but it did eventually get me to the desktop. So uh, I don't know if there's other options I can put into the um, grub config file to speed up this boot process. For example here, this is going to take a little while because it's copying the uh, uh, squish file system to um, the RAM. And I want to say that the file system on this ISO is like probably close to 200 megabytes, which isn't really big, I would expect this to take maybe 15 to 30 seconds. I feel like it feels like a bit longer, but it does eventually copy to RAM. My laptop isn't the fastest machine in the world. There we go. It actually wasn't that long. It just felt like longer. I wish it gave it some sort of output letting you know. Okay. Uh, video drivers loaded. So we got a little higher resolution here. And we've got our desktop of Puppy Linux. Quirky 764-bit, running off ISO using Grub on a flash drive. Point proven. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.